Welcome once more, dear candidates, to the GCE March panel. This paper presents June 2020 advanced level, paper two, pure maths. The first thing to do is to please subscribe so that when we load any video, upload any video, you are notified and when you subscribe, please don't forget to click on the notifications. Question seven reads, find the image of the line two X, two Y is equals X under the transformation operator zero minus one minus one zero. This question can be answered in two ways. I present the first way. For us to get the image of the line two y equals x, we can first of all get two points A and B, and then we transform these two points and form an equation with these two points as follows. So here we have, if x is equal to two, for example, y will be equal to one, you can take zero, zero, it's okay. If x is equal to four, y will be equal to two. So we transform these two points and we have the points minus one minus two and the points minus two minus four. The gradient of the line formed by these two points is two and the new equation formed by the transformation matrix will be given by y equals m into x minus x one plus y one. Any set of points you choose will give you the same equation. Well, another way is to say that if you look at this equation, y is equal to a half x, though they have written two y equals x, it should normally be written before you use it in this transformation as y equals a half x. So the point x is mapped onto a half x, and this transformation transforms x and a half x onto minus a half x minus x. And from here, the gradient of this new transformation will be given by just say the y value divided by the x value and that will give you two and the new equation will be two into x minus x1 plus y1 and that still gives you two x as the transformation of the line two y equals x. The second part of the equation reads, find the inverse of the matrix A. So you can find this inverse in various methods. Um, here I am looking at the determinants and the aggregate. You can get the inverse in many ways. So here, the determinant is given by, I'm um, using the first row, one, then we have one minus three, one, one, minus, no, the second element, that is, um, minus one and the third is plus. So they are actually alternating. So minus this minus one into this uh, sub determinant two, one, one minus three plus this last term here or entry. And then we have, when you look at this point, we are left with two, one, one, one. So this gives us the determinant of 10 and the aggregate is given by the transpose matrix of cofactors. So here the aggregate will be given by the transpose matrix of cofactors. So we move to this first point. I is one, J is one. One plus one is two. So minus one squared will give us plus. So this first entry here, this is plus and the cofactor at this position is one times one minus, one times minus three, that gives us four. At this position, minus one to the power i plus j, i plus j here is three, that gives us minus. Then the co-entries of the subdeterminants here, we have two, one, one minus three, and that gives us five. So we have the matrix four minus five, one, all of that. So when we transpose, this is what we have. And the inverse of the matrix is given by the aggregate of the determinants and that gives us this matrix. The last part of the equation wants us to therefore solve the equation given by that. And we see that this equation is having 
this coefficient matrix the same as what we have looked for the inverse here. So since we already have the inverse, uh, values of x, y, and z will just be obtained by pre-multiplying this constant matrix by the inverse of the matrix that we have. And this gives us 12 on 5 minus 3 on 2 and 31 on 10 as the values of x, y, and z. Please don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel and equally share with your friends. And don't forget to visit our blog www.gcmathpanel.blogspot.com for past questions for the various years in the different subjects, not just mathematics, as well as technical, ordinary level and advanced level issues on scholarships to travel abroad, news on GCE and a lot more on this blog our Facebook page, and actually this question is found in the link below. If the video is too fast, you can reduce the speed on your YouTube page as you have on your screen at the bottom right to maybe 0.5 or 0.75. The next question reads, evaluates the sum to infinity of the series presented. And when you look at this series, you automatically know that this is a geometric progression. And the first term is three and four. So we can write this series in this form. We can bring out these three, the sum of all of that. So this will give us three. Uh, the common ratio here is a quarter. And the sum to infinity is given by A over one minus R for absolute value of R to be less than one. And standard R here is one quarter, which is less than one. So our sum to infinity gives us one. You may decide to do it directly. You will have the terms three on four, three on 16, uh, three on 64, and so on. Find the sum of the first n terms of a series given by Sn equals two n squared plus n. So here they've given us the sum of the first n terms. To get the nth term, we take the sum of the first n terms minus the sum of the n minus one terms. So this gives us two n squared plus n minus the s, the sum of the first n minus one terms. That would be two into n minus one squared plus n minus one. And when we simplify, the nth term will be given by four n minus one. So that's the nth term of this series. Now show that the series is an arithmetic progression. To show that a series is an arithmetic progression, you just need to show that it has a constant common difference and a constant common difference here is actually far uh, is actually four therefore this series is an ap you can equally use uh, the sn that's the sum of the first n terms to show this you look for s1 s2 s3 and you show that s3 minus s2 is the same as s2 minus s1 thank you so much for being here with us to actually solve the next questions are questions nine and ten Please don't forget to subscribe and click on this notification so that immediately we upload any video, you are automatically notified. Equal, you can visit our complete preparations for GCE advanced level on our blog. Don't forget to share with friends and leave your comments so that we know how we can better serve you. Thank you so much and welcome to the GCE math panel. Bye-bye.